after he did white blow and like Virgo was unfazed by getting hit in the face, he gave that nigga the hand. <laughs> I, I did. Smoke yeah. Are we ever gonna talk about the visible? Yeah, way? let's talk about a chapter. <laughs> yeah. no, you, you, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Nine fourteen Okabori Town. Um, I seen that in. Certain group chats, people are talking about One Piece and views for the chapters and reviews and discussions and reactions. Mm-hmm. I haven't, I didn't even notice that, um, honestly. Um, have you guys seen a decline? I don't know if you guys pay attention to that in interest for the One Piece uh, chapters. I've been like AFK for the past two weeks. I have weeks. not. Right. For but I, I, was, I saw them say that too, Bronco. No, yeah. I honestly, I haven't paid attention. Yeah, I didn't pay. But I could attention. see it happening for this chapter as to, as to why. Yeah, I, I guess yeah, it's not I a mean, typical. I haven't put out content since now, but it's not nine oh three, right? With nine oh three, where everybody was making a video, everybody was coming back yeah. because of the hype behind it. It's no, not that's funny. That. that probably the last time I put out a video. <laughs> nine oh three was a hype. I saw like people that had made a YouTube video in like a year. They come out like, "Yo, Luffy," blah blah. blah. I'm like, "Okay." Yo, he's lit. <laughs> I'm like, "Okay." We see what we're doing here, but uh, I'm seeing Welcome a lot of people. Welcome back, bitch. <laughs> Are you talking about F? Uh, I, I'm not going to say no, what There's a bunch about. of people like is, is, people I never even heard of yeah. made like a video talking about his bounty or like yeah. be like the highest bounty in the series. Yeah. And, and if talk was one of them. Bounty, maybe I can wait, get 1.5 billion views. Yeah. Wait, what are you talking about? Where, or 903 when it came out and it's like the hype around it like brought a lot of YouTubers that have been doing oh, it. Okay. Gone for like two years. Yeah. They made just a video. yeah they, they made a video just talking about Luffy's bounty. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like chapters yeah, like let those. Me, let me collect my quick hondo real quick. Yeah, I, this definitely wasn't a chapter like that, but I, th- I thought it was like a decent chapter. Uh, the cover page. A lot of people are talking about it, saying it's Bellamy, it's Shanks. I, I saw. Grim. Not, I don't understand the Shanks. Book. I it's saw Grim Shanks. going hard saying it's Shanks on Twitter. Well, Grim is like semi remedial <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, okay. uh, but I think it's I think it's Bellamy. It's Bellamy. It's Bellamy. I, be I like captains. I like <laughs> like when the fuck if Shanks <laughs> is a part of the Allied fleet. I mean, there's one reason why it's not it's not Shanks. <laughs> Shanks left his right. Shanks left his right. His left arm. The guy's pulling his in the back with the left. Yo, they're saying it's a mirror. <laughs> I don't know. Bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> say what? what? <laughs> also, Shanks's hair is red, so this should be tinted. <laughs> his hair. I don't get. I, listen, I don't understand how people justify these things, but they th- <laughs> people are and doubling down. The fact that um, Bellamy was somewhat involved with Bellamy, Luke, bro. Like when group Bellamy group took the Vivri card, I was like, this, I was like, this. He's a part of it. He's a part of the fleet. Yeah. Like, why would you yeah, take the paper? Yeah. Agree. You know, it's, it's like one of those where he's like reluctantly like taking the card. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Like, we know what it is. So I think it's Bellamy. Uh, as far as the cover yeah, page. Yeah. You know, you know, you gang gang. I'm just I'm just happy we're moved. We, we moved on from Orlumbus. Honestly. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> okay, how long was that, bro? I feel like that was longer than usual. Ten weeks. Jesus. Ten what weeks. did that even achieve, by the way? Bro? Nothing. <laughs> because because at, at the last one was like, what, we failed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He didn't destroy <laughs> the village. When I, he bro, he when I, bro, when I saw him saluting, I was like, "Can we please like say goodbye?" Yeah, yeah, that's a one piece cover stories for you though. Uh, just random <laughs> shit. Uh, okay, so the chapter we start off um, when they talked about removing the poison from uh, Otama's body. Otama. Talking about not drinking the ward anymore. We had Zoro and Luffy talking about the size of Okiku. There's a lot of speculation as far as like who Oki- Okiku is. I saw. Like, I think yeah, Farrow, that's a big bitch. I saw Pharaoh was joking. Bitches. I saw Pharaoh was joking, but he put um he put Queena and Okiku said maybe she lost her memories. Um, trap. Uh, trap. What you, <laughs> uh, yeah, I see oh. that, that Okiku could be a male. Um, yes. As well, what, what do you guys think about then, Okiku? The why do niggas think she a trap? The coolest um, thing that I saw about this was someone uh, brought up the, like the panel that like indicates like the samurai of Wano that was foreshadowed like years mm-hmm. ago, and there's like the seven samurai, and one of them kind of looks like like the shadow, kind of looks like Kiku. Like her? Oh, yeah. Like like there's all different hairstyles. Okay. There's one that like the hair is like down and it looks somewhat feminine. Did JB do that? Was JB the one that caught that? No, it was. Uh, I don't know. I it. Oh, it was Gear Five. I went on Twitter. Well, okay. first off, for a cuckoo, I, I hope you stay away <laughs> from all tears. <laughs> for who? Oh, cuckoo. Oh, cuckoo. Oh, cuckoo. Oh, cuckoo. Oh, cuckoo. Oh, cuckoo. Oh, 
bro. bro. You know my accent, bro. I can't <laughs> say, bro. You can say Okiku. Oh, you can accent say Okiku. Bro, I've edited that part out, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm keeping that one in. <laughs> nah, but anyway, bro. still, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah. She should have fought out stairs. That's not the first thing. I saw that. That yo, that shit was fucking hilarious when you posted it. <laughs> and um, on a more serious note, on a more serious note, um, I like how Oda isn't overcompensated for what the female character doesn't have. We always complain about female character being feminine and always being tailored towards a feminine type. Yeah. I always thought, I always thought when Oda I made a badass female, he's gonna go hardcore masculine. But no, she's not really that. She's tall, but she's she's still feminine and she's yeah. she's portrayed to be strong. I, so I really appreciate it. So, okay, well, that's a good assumption because she might be a man or he might be a man. I don't even yeah, know. Not even that, but the fact that, like, she can use a sword and has, like, another identity, it could basically be everything more that more. was before that was a lie. Mm. That's a good point. What's left for I, I, I go for a little it's bit. It's too soon. What are you saying, Virgo? I have to go for a little bit. All, All right, cool. Right. Thank God. I'm um, a one more point. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck one did more. you just say? One more you. point, Virgo. Yeah, go ahead. I find it weird that after being in this town for a month, she owns a tea shop. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. Well, it's a minor detail. But I mean, that right in social status is, is crazy. Well, the thing is, those are leftovers though, right? Mm. That's, that's the leftover town, right? I think Viola belongs there. Wow. I mean, if we're going with like the theory that like she is who... She is someone that who we don't like really actually realize who we are. Like he said... The seven daimyo, I think that's the picture you're referring to, right? Where it shows the seven daimyo. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be interesting if she was one of them and like she had to like, you know, go into hiding for whatever reason. Well, I mean, another way to justify it is that like, I mean, I don't know how many lands there are in Wano, but like in the chapter and I want to know what the Viz says about this, but like it says like, uh, like 20 years ago, or whatever, Odin's castle yeah. fell and like this, this place has the Kozuki symbol like outside of the tea house. Yes. So maybe this is the daimyo that was with, uh. I don't know with Odin back in the day. With, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I would suspect that it would be somewhat a civil war in Wano, where some people are for were for Odin and some people were for um what's that guy's name? I forget his name. O- Orochi. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. So uh I always expected that. So I think that's gonna be fleshed out as we go forward. Okiku, I, I saw people saying that she could be a traitor and she's like just she's gonna lead them to Kaido. She could be a calamity. Uh, <laughs> I don't like those. It's a lot of calamity. Everyone's a calamity now. Yeah, I see. Yeah. You remember last chapter? People thought that um, Beppo and those guys were seeing Sanji. And it turns out that they just looking at yeah. Luffy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sometimes things are just are just very. So, I mean, the thing is, for One Piece, true. typically things are what they are, right? But yeah, they are what they are. But that's not interesting, right? That's that, the obnoxious uh, thing about One Piece, though. It's like yeah. it's like ninety percent of the time, it's yeah. like super obvious, but like. Right. Yeah, people always try to. You try to find a different way to get to your destination. That's interesting, right? Because because normally it is what it is. Like you look at it, you're like, oh, this is probably gonna happen, and it happens, and we didn't realize we just predicted what's gonna happen. We're like, yeah, everybody was talking about it, so it's not really a surprise. You know <laughs> like, yeah, it's happened yeah. so many chapters in Whole Cake where we're like, oh, that was gonna happen. It was like, oh, yeah, we we kind of saw that coming, so it's like it's not that much of a surprise. Um, but in in this chapter, uh. What do you guys think about Luffy and Zoro? I guess the interaction with Okiku. But Luffy's specific mention of Big Mom there. Just with uh, Zoro saying that Okiku's big. It's just random. I mean, I don't think this is going to happen. But, like, you know, the popular headcanon about uh, Luffy spilling the beans about the events of Whole Cake Island. I don't think it's going to happen. But, I mean, I don't understand, like, why Oda would put that in there. Right. Outside of being, like, a quip, like, oh, hey, remember Big Mom? She was big. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. I don't know. I think it's just kind um, of like a throwaway, like, statement. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's a that's a misstep on Oda's part at times where sometimes the conversation between the crew, I think that would kind of imply that they're closer, right? If you're having conversations about your journeys, right? About things yeah. that's happened. That's you tell that to a friend, right? If you go somewhere, you're like, hey, this happened, or let me tell you what happened. It seems like they don't have these conversations. They don't. That's never been ever. and it's it's like how can you be th- like this close and you're 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 on this same journey if you don't have intimate conversations like that we always assume they have them off screen but it's never been shown to be true yeah i agree but the thing is it's like if you have it off screen then you, there should be some reference to what's been told right 
Yeah. Like something outside, like, oh, so they probably they had a conversation behind this, the scenes. I was like, oh, that's cool. It doesn't seem that way at all. I mean, of course, no, no. Oda can't put everything in one piece. It's already long enough, but there's some shit that we get there. It's like, we don't need that. <laughs> like, we don't need that, you know? Absolutely. But, uh, that's no, just I'm something. not even want to find it uh, interesting that Zoro has no interest in the sword anymore. Like, it's in a calm environment. This is the best place for him to examine the sword. Right. I wonder if Oda haven't half screamed that because that would be funny as hell. Oh, Zoro is Zoro actually, if, if he actually, if he actually examined the need I could touch so we didn't see his yeah. reaction to it. Because he seems, he seems unbothered in this chapter. Like, ah, oh, whatever. Last, last chapter was interesting as, as hell. Yeah, I mean. So that's pretty weird. Probably is going to pop back up again. Um, yeah, I, I thought, I thought it was funny when uh, they asked the names. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in, in, in the vis, it says Zolo. <laughs> Zolo. Well, yeah, of course, because yeah. we know that um, yeah. they can't use the yeah. name Zoro because yeah, copyrighted. Can't use actually, actual name anymore. Yeah, so I'm Zoro Judo. I'm a Ronin, and it's like he's Luffy's about to go and yo, I'm Monkey D. He's <laughs> 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 like yo, he's Luffy Taro. Um, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, yeah. Obvious mention to Momotaro. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I didn't I didn't even get that. Uh, and, um, I mean, a more minor point. I, yeah. I like how Oda is he's setting up Luffy's reason for caring about this the, this food. arc, in a sense. The food. He's giving, yeah, he's illustrating the point again that, wait, the food is gone, kids are starving. Luffy have a personal reason now to, like, completely destroy Kaido. Yeah, you know something that would absolutely satisfy my insane headcanon? Was that? Yeah. Is that, like, Thomas Pass should be totally, like, like, Luffy should be able to get this. Luffy grew up basically running around Great Terminal, scounging for his own food. Yes. So yes. it'd be cool if he felt sympathy based on what he's lived through. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. hope for that sentimental moment eventually with Tama and Luffy. Um, Where he talks about Ace, right? I can't wait, dude. Uh, Whereas maybe it's after the, after the events of the arc and they're by themselves. He's like, hey... Um, was Ace really your brother? Maybe you heard it from someone else. And then Luffy tells him about how they grew up. You know, in Great That'll Terminal. Be That'd be great. And uh, I think... Yo, that... I just thought of a scene, dude. It was kind of like the end of um, Annie's Lobby whenever Luffy's talking to Kobe about his journey. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, if, yeah. Yo, that would be so sweet. That would be, be a great moment between Luffy and Tama where I would maybe Tama asks to go with him. You know, mm -hmm. it's like having Tama and Momo on the ship i don't know i think it would be really cool if that happened um and it shows some growth on luffy's end instead of it just being like straight up blunt i'm gonna talk about them you're gonna move on uh him talking about ace in that way would be kind of like some closure that i think i would like to get personally yeah, that's why my head can't want to so bad and that's how i know yeah, for a yeah. fact it's never gonna happen yeah. <laughs> right whereas like it seems like after the gym they think like you have your friends like I understand that, but at the end of the day, I have friends and I, but like, that's still my brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like, that's still family in a way. So, um, that'd be cool if that happened. Uh, after that, we had the mention of, uh, the Odin thing, right? Uh, so it says here, do you see that mountain without the smokestacks? At the peak, there Fair once enough. stood a building, okay, by the name of Odin Castle. That was 20 years ago, however. And then Zoro says, Odin Castle? Odin? I know I've heard that name, but where? Uh, it said, until 20 years ago, the land of Wano had long been ruled by a family called the Kazoki clan. So he said, until 20 years ago. So that means that that means that 20 years ago, that's it, when. Does it actually say until or over? Until. Un really? Yes. Mm. So that means that, that means that they got overthrown 20 years ago. Exactly. Because that's more precise. Where it's like, yeah, until 20 years ago, the land had been ruled by the Kozoki clan. Kozoki clan, which means that civil war probably started at 20 years ago. Mm. Where somebody challenged Odin and was like, they probably attacked uh, the castle. More, more than likely Orochi. Uh, this brings up like a weird situation because uh, 20 years ago, Roger was still dead. Yes. So, you know, remember the conversation about uh, Momo meeting Roger? Yes. So, like, it's always been ambiguous. People still argue to this day about his age. But, like, 
it, we don't really know what time this flashback was because if the castle fell 20 years ago, how, how are the Kozuki still in power? That's usually symbolic of them falling out of power. Mm -hmm. It's whenever you lose like your main castle. Right. But it, like I always got the impression that Kaido didn't like it wasn't conquered until he went there. Like Kaido went there. I agree. I think that's what it, it was like a uh, go back to broccoli, right? <laughs> and yeah. and <laughs> with uh, with Niji and Ichiji where you had it's like a civil war then they needed extra help to kind of to win i think that's what happened is like for the entire time it was just war in wano for until kaido came and kind of tipped the skills exactly exactly and that's maybe that's why it's so barren and the, everything is poisoned because years of war that can't be uh prosperous for the country at all so yeah, I mean, it does present a lot of questions. If it said until 20 years ago, the land of Wano had long been ruled by a family called the Kozoki clan. So that is interesting. Um, bro, yeah, I'm I mean, this kind of goes. Oh, go on. Ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, this kind of goes to like what I was thinking to where it was like it's been like a power struggle between, you can say, like Odin and uh, the Shogun for like a long time. And then yeah. Kaido stepped in and kind of ended it right there. Yeah, because it's like, I mean, for most, for any country, it seems like a Yonko joins you. I mean, right. Because, like, you remember what Big Mom said when she was like, if I had, like, the giants on my side, I yeah. would just, I would defeat all the Yonko. It's probably, like, one yeah. of those things where, like, you just needed, like, some help and then he would, he just defeats everyone. Yeah, you can bring in the Yonko's forces, yeah. like, it's over. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I mean, it's like the timeline is kind of messing me up, though, when you think about it. Cause this is 20 yeah. years ago. Uh, when did Odin get burned? Mom was, what, seven? roughly yeah, around that age. right and he, he saw it age. happen right yeah so this is fairly recent so it's just like it'll be cool to kind of put those together to kind of figure out exactly yeah. how, how these things uh the took place thing is i'm sure oda has planned like he has to have Oano completely planned out to like every single like for sure like nook and cranny because like he's been planning this art for so long like the lore of it and everything he's been be waiting for this right. Yeah. For this. Um, Brago, uh, yeah. There's a big difference in translation between what he said in Jaiminis box to what he says here when regarding um them trying to find food. In the Jaiminis box, it kind of suggested that Kaido intendedly destroyed the environment so they could like um rely on him. But in the in the viz, then we made in a comment about that. He just said, Yes, if only we don't run them ourselves. I don't know if you can go and jam in his box and check page. I think it's page seven. Otaku is Otama's theme. So children like Otama can be found everywhere in the current Wano country. It's crazy a little girl like her is able to go hungry, although once she gets older, she can eat poison food. No, she can't. There are rivers, yep. mountains, and forests here. No one should have any trouble finding food. You're right. Food. That wouldn't be the case if certain individuals... If certain individuals haven't made an effort to contaminate. Good. I'm wondering if Kaido and those guys deliberately contaminated them instead of it being an indirect aspect of the factories. Because if... If Kaido actually did completely made an effort to do this, that that's a brilliant plan to keep um, the lower class. Yeah, it's check. completely different because this is between. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's different in this. But between the sea and mountains and forests, you should be able to get all the food you need. If only we don't run them run ourselves. Run the Mars. It's completely different, bro. Whoa. Yeah, that's a huge difference in translation. What do they mean by if only we run them ourselves? If only we don't run them ourselves. No, we don't run them ourselves. Mm. Are they saying they're not capable? I I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know. But I like Jaminis one a bit more because I mean that would be crazy if Kaido intend intentionally did this instead of Wait, it being does, a byproduct of the factory. Yeah. Does it say run or ruin? The picture I'm looking so, at is super small. If only we don't ruin them ourselves or run them ourselves. If is only, it run or ruin? I, I don't know. It's really small. Oh, it could be ruin. It is really but, but, if all if only we don't ruin them ourselves. But regardless, it's completely yeah. different from what Jaimini said. Jaimini said. Hmm. Just, I'm just gonna go with the Jaimini's. Um. Yeah, Jaimini says. Jaimini's translation. It says Kaido. Somebody's intentionally yeah, doing that. That would be great for the story, bro. If this is intentionally done. Kind of like fucking crocodile and Wano, or yeah. sorry, in, in uh, what's it called? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, because that would be a great with the country of the populace, keeping them in check and making sure they always have to come to you for food. Yeah. 
that would be brilliant, bro. Like, I love the translation. That's, and I hope the that's Viz... savage. And that goes yeah, that, with... that, that, that's that... what we need from, from, from one of the most savage guys in the world. That goes with Kaido's um, portrayal, in a way. So, yeah, we rock with that for now. Hopefully, we get some more clarification later. Probably won't, but... Um... Move on, and then Zoro. This is where Zoro um, stops the arrow. Yeah. Um, from uh, the one, the only, and in the Viz translation, it says <laughs> Batman. <laughs> the one, I actually, the only. Uh, prefer these things. Like I, uh, I even commented on this before, but uh, I kind of get irritated seeing the exact same Zoro scenes all the time. That doesn't stress how good he, is, how good of a swordsman is. It's always like air slash and like. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, seeing I agree. him manually block a sword, like it takes timing to do that. Like it just looks more impressive from a sword standpoint. Yeah. So yes. I actually got hyped when I saw this. I was like, that's sick. Yeah, it's it's, it's like in um with Zoro, like for the nails, like uh using your sword to redirect them or it, it's just like Zoro is a massive swordsman. So it's just like, and also yeah. this kind of ties back into Sanja as well. We don't really see a much technique oriented attacks again. It's like it's a big kick, a big slash. Right, so Sanji pre time skip, uh, I think Oda made, made sure too. He made a he made a a concerted effort to show that Sanji's a pinpoint like yes. fighter, right? Where he where he attacks, it's like it's it's kind of calculated. It's uh, it's like it was it was kind of beautiful to watch, right? Pre time, it, it was, uh, and it shows the difference between Zoro and Sanji. Where it's like Sanji maybe is not physically as strong as Zoro, but he's so pinpoint. That is just as effective. Where now it's like we don't see that as much. It's just like okay, it's either Diablo Jambe or Zoro does the air slash, or it's like something super powerful. Where maybe the techniques aren't being yeah. like portrayed that I, way anymore. I, I don't want to like fuck. It. I don't want to harp on the Zoro Sanji thing too right. bad. But like when like when people say that you should keep the same energy when you're criticizing Sanji versus criticizing Zoro, like. When you compare Wano to Whole Cake Island, like Zoro's like hype has been building up every single chapter we've seen him in. There's like been in some sort of impressive like feat, whether it's just even small things, but like the portrayal is building up like every single chapter we see him in. You know, compared to Sanji, where like you know the entire Whole Cake Island, everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, you're a Sanji," lol, 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 lol. and then like, "Oh, the year's not over yet," or it was supposed to be the arc of Sanji, and then like every single time we're just waiting for some Sanji thing, and it never happened. I think we should do this one time. Like to make a kind of positive spin on Zoro and Sanji, to kind of point out the fundamental difference between the fundamental differences between Zoro and Sanji. Where I was just thinking about it, where how Zoro was as a child is completely different from how Sanji was as a child. Yep. Right. Where Sanji was, I guess, for lack of a better term, a bitch as a child. <laughs> <laughs> as a child what I'm saying right right what I'm saying is as a child he was he was like a normal kid right yeah he made food he loved his mom he was just like a really normal <laughs> kid yeah Whereas, well, I, mean, so, I don't I don't like defending Sanji but for for the sake of it like we don't really actually know if that was the case for his world because we only know that about Sanji because of a second flashback right right Zoro could be the same way but based on what we know right now it God, seems like, I hope we get a fucking full Zoro flashback. This it, it seems like they were like a lot different based on just overall goals, uh, determination. Where Sanji wanted yeah. to be regular, where yep. of course his situation and everything he went through forced him to be the way he is, right? Forced him to get stronger. But Zoro from the beginning wanted to be stronger. Wanted to be the best. So the it's cash. like, in a way. Sanji being the gentleman and being the perv, that's like who he really is. But the strength is just kind of like it's an add on. Whereas Zoro being strong, that's just fundamentally who he is. Like, I, th I, th I think just based on their childhood, of course, we could get more from Zoro eventually. That could kind of balance it out, but they're different. That could be interesting one day to talk about. To just like to have a positive conversation. About them for once, instead of it like <laughs> falling into depravity every time. For sure. Uh, um, Raga. Yeah. yeah. I <laughs> might go down in the rabbit hole a, a bit now, but. Oh, we always do. Well, this is about to get serious. Oh, shit. From what we have gathered, it seems that the one in the country have no idea about devil fruits. But when it comes down to the gifters, artificial fruits, they're pretty much aware. 
Well, well, what do you make of that? Explain what you mean. In terms of what they said, it's you're a talking different. About you're talking about Kinemon and how he... Yes, from we, from we, we get it from Kinemon. They feel like these like, these powers are magic. Well, but okay. when it comes down to the gifter, it's like they objectively know what they are. Here's my theory, Kinemon. I think yeah. he's bullshitting. Oh, and he knows. I, yeah. I think he's basically um, putting on a farce. Like, he's just... Like, he knows what it is. Like, he knows how to use his fruit. I just think it's just part of the bit that they have to play it up. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I kind of... Maybe, but at the same time, like... I feel like they're not playing anymore. Because, like, after the whole scene with Momo and Luffy and everything, I don't think that they're going to be lying to the Straw Hats anymore. I mean, obviously, there could be, like, a double, like... Yeah. Uh, the, the, like the twist that Oda wants to pull, but I, I don't think that... The thing is, at the end of the day, Kinemon and um, Kanjuro, they're shown that they're... At the end of the day, the loyalty lies with the Kozoki clan. Right? So, for them, holding that card till the end may be a way to kind of, like... Like, like... like I'm not even sure, but it just seemed like... It, it just seemed ridiculous that they did not know what Devil Fruits were. I don't yeah, know. It for me, it's kind of hard to say this because Oda is crossing a fine line between mixing mixing cultural misunderstandings and mythology mm -hmm. that I would probably lean more towards the fact that these guys are just idiots. Yeah. <laughs> like, like what, they, what they're seeing right now is they're so used to it that it's become yeah. normalized to them. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that's like mythology. That's like a bat, you know, like, because there are a lot of demons in Japanese mythology that can just correlate all abilities to, like, these said demons. And depending on how long this has been going on, it could be like, uh, like passed on, where it's like, yeah, these are special powers that this guy can grant you. Yeah, and it might not be a coincidence that like the perfect fruit, like type of fruit to have to like correlate mythology is zone fruits. Yeah. Because paramecias and low gears are kind of more mystical, and it's like, okay, what the hell's going on here? But and, if you live in like in the world that was portrayed to be like, like feudal Japan, where yeah. like leaving in demons and like gods yeah. like that that were basically animals it, it seems a lot more believable they and, just think this is actually and, real and I also seeing that. someone like kaido could convert a lot of people yeah say, that's like holy, a god holy shit that's a fucking you know what i mean and if kaido has you know the power to shape shift and use different fruits and abilities it's like whoa this guy must be legit so i can get power like that if i convert that could be you know with a civil unrest uh kind of really started for real uh batman um do you guys think... dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yo, shout out to with the gigs yeah <laughs> shout out to gigs uh how easily is batman defeating zora 101 no the thing is batman is getting a lot of hype he i can hear zoro's sword slashing before he slashes us right and, and the thing is when I, when I hyped up Batman in a chapter, I was, I mean, obviously, I was like, I was joking. But now I'm Were seeing you? it, and it's, I think people are serious about Batman. Yeah, no, dude, no, 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 they're playing the part, dude. They're, they're literally <laughs> trolling so hard that they want you to believe it, to believe it, so they can be like, no, dude, like, what the fuck, I'm just having Doc, fun. I don't care, you could have told me <laughs> anything about that guy's powers, just from looking at How his intro looks. panel, and he looks like... <laughs> That is the most trash character I've ever seen. Yes. Why are these wings so close to his ass? <laughs> <laughs> they literally come out of his ass, dude. Yo. What and his he... legs are like so small and his fucking stomach is so big. Like that Man, dude is so trash. Leg bit. <laughs> yeah, I like it, just the just the design off rip is like, yo, what's going on? I wouldn't be surprised if he had something like, yo, I can't fly this direction because my wings are so close to the body. Like, I don't know. Something stupid like that. But Batman is a fun character that got introduced. And uh, some people did not like Batman at all. They said it's just Oda doing his stupid shit again. Where he has a character that we don't care about. Um, I, I thought it was funny seeing Batman um, in the chapter. Uh, but even more than Batman, uh, we uh, we found out about... Uh, um, before you go on to Giselle Manbrago, I remember in your review... Um, yeah. Thank you for your, your reaction. You said that he's going to be defeated the way Gong defeated that bat. Yeah. I actually agree. That would be a great way. Because, I mean, Oda emphasizes 
fun that he can hear six times. He can hear six times. If, if you scream in that ear, is... way too much credit right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I understand where you're going with that, yeah. but like, there's no way that Batman's actually. He's not worried that much. <laughs> Batman right now is the equivalent to how I memed Pound on Whole Cake Island, dude. Yeah. This guy's trying. Yeah. Um, what, Apple what, juice. The, the thing is, um, I saw the Okiku. Like, that's when we found out that she's truly a samurai. Well, she grabbed his sword. Well, it's like, yo, she grabbed his sword. Um, mm. And it's kind of like, is that is that sexist? Because a woman grabbed his sword. <laughs> is that, well, is that um, cause being, for alarm? <laughs> being the Mr. Lenny that I am, yeah, um, yeah, I yeah, would yeah. probably say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should have grabbed a spoon or a fork. Wow. And get back to where she's supposed to be. Like, but, um. <laughs> you and BMT would get along. <laughs> Very well. well. Very well. Wait a minute. But you know, seriously, Snow Brago, in terms of feudal Japan, females are not satisfied and not supposed to be samurais. Right. Well, if I'm historically correct, I would assume no. Uh, I don't remember a lot of females being uh, uh, samurais in the old Japanese movies I watched. No. Well, they're, 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 they make good chef, though. They were always the uh, they were always like working at these uh, these brothels. <laughs> And they would have yeah, actually, that's correct. They would have a lot of towels. Yeah. They would always have a lot of towels. Like, why do they have so many towels? Uh, and it's not until I got older, I was like, oh, that's what that was. Uh, you went to one? No, I'm just talking about like in the movies. Hell like, yeah, it did, dude. In, in the movies, they don't say what it is. You know, it's just like, but uh, no, there's no way Brago did it because when you know, a black man don't cheat, so that's true. When Brago, that's a good point. <laughs> Brago thank you. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Gazelle Man, uh, a fan favorite in this chapter, he delivered. Uh, it's a gazelle man. He has a bunch of L's in his pocket. And he dropped one off. Yeah. You, you so. know, no people are taking uh, like their head cannons with this guy because <laughs> so people are taking this like you know the popular head cannon that uh, Queens in Okama. Yeah. yeah, people are like this is confirmation. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man. First of all, him wearing fishnets. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What that's I don't know what that was about. Uh, somebody said it was aerodynamic. Uh, last stream. <laughs> That's the reason for it. But he says, "Yo, ho, ho, ho! I'm uncatchable. I run 200 kilometers per hour." And the Thomas says, "I'm getting, ki- I'm getting kidnapped." Gifters, gazelle man, gazelle smile fruit. Yeah, so, I'm actually kind of upset that Oda like gave like a concrete number to that. I, it yes. doesn't make any sense at all. Like, <laughs> like when you think that like Sanji speed blitz oven, like he had to be going like fucking insanely fast, like speed of sound level. When he fucking yeah. speed lifts, I don't like, understand. They can't, catch, they can't catch this guy that's running 200 kilometers I thought, an hour. Like, I thought uh, this would be a perfect moment to have like one of those scenes where it's like Luffy flexes his speed, right? Where it shows like, yeah, where Luffy just instantly, maybe he doesn't go, maybe he does go get forth, right? Then all of a sudden you see my, you, you show at the end of the Katakuri fight, right? We didn't see the last hit. We didn't see like the the, the fundamental difference between Snake Man and Bound Man. Maybe you show it here. Maybe show Luffy go to Snake Man, and all of a sudden Luffy's like, he he catches up to him fairly easily. This is a nice segue for me to complain about something because I'm really good at complaining. Let's get but, it. But like, <laughs> I think this scene in and of itself is fine, but it kind of highlights a larger problem that I find within One Piece. And so this is obviously Oda's justification for moving to the next plot point, which was getting Otama captured. Yes. But yeah. the fact that these clowns were able to literally go to Luffy, the Goku, and his right yes. hand man, and it's like, oh, we just took her. Your observation exactly. hockey's fucking useless now because you, I guess, you weren't using it, used it on the arrow or something. And now, what? Well, what? Well, I guess I'm out of here. You know, it, it, it kind of goes back to this idea that uh, Oda doesn't really clown antagonists like this. Like they're supposed to be competent. Because like that, like oh man, this guy, you know, carrot tried to pull something on Katakuri, He said sit the fuck down or something, and yeah. like every person in the series can clown with the straw hats, and like their strength isn't shown until they're supposed to be serious. Well, I think yep. about what I th- when you mentioned, it, I think about it. Isn't big that kind scene. of like yeah. part of like a theme of like Luffy? I guess you know what I mean. Like where he's like kind of like the non-serious like goofy like he's lax type of person you right. know so, like towards I like mean, Zoro is there as well but also he also makes... Dritz to your point um for Big Mom I think she was somewhat toyed with or the yeah. the scene that I think about is um Brooke when Brooke was captured by Big Mom and we have basically it was it was turned into a joke 
in which they took turns <laughs> trying yep. to get Brooke <laughs> from Big Mom. And you saw Zeus and Prometheus yeah. going crazy. That that was turned into a joke. Where it's like, Absolutely. you know what I mean? Where I, um, so, so, sometimes it's misplaced where you have to kind of figure out when Oda's being serious and when you have to take it with a grain of salt. Where this is one yes. where it's like, this is strictly plot progression. Um, I, I totally agree with you. Like that's, I recognize yeah, and that the thing fact, is, but like, I yeah, yeah. I, I I'm not gonna like criticize it that much because yeah, like, I, it's not a big deal for me. I just want the yeah, comment. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I understand your complaint completely, but it's like I'm not gonna care that much as long as it brings us to a place to where like we want to be in as a community. And this this just shows the difference wow. between something like Hunter Hunter and One yeah. Piece, right? Where it it it. it it outlines specific events where, like, say, what is it, Ren? Yes. Uh, where it's like you have, if if that's not active, you can't send someone, right? So it's like nope. if you get caught off guard, if it's not active, it makes sense. In this yeah. situation, Zoro just stopped an arrow point blank from uh, Utsuru, yeah. right? So b- when when is it applicable? When does observation work when are you just dodging when are you using future sight when do these things like what's the difference what's the fundamental difference between these things so that we can establish like some level of consistency because right now we don't have it like, wait brago before we could even talk about observation hockey we're talking about instincts like when are they using their instinct or not i mean i think they're the just said. yeah i think there that's what i think there's zoro's using instinct to block that <laughs> that's a big that's question. what i'm that's what i'm assuming right because I mean that's what I would assume as well. Yeah, it's it's just instinct he used. But it's like with Zoro's observation hockey versus Pika, they showed that Zoro had to yeah, stop and to. stop and meditate and has that improved at all? Or is like is Zoro going to improve with observation hockey? Is it always gonna be that bad? If we're saying that's bad. I don't I, it's like it's so much inconsistency with like my, hockey. It's it's tough. My headcanon on this is Pretty much is this. Zoro uses observation hockey to like block the arrow right or whatever you want to say, or he just uses reaction time, whatever. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like the bat dude was like kind of like <laughs> distracting them and keeping their focus off. So like the gazelle guy could like just come in and like yeah. I don't know necessarily if you can just like especially since they're like kind of like not like they're not like observation specialists. I don't know if you can just keep it up to the point where you can just pay attention to everything at the same time, especially if you're like focusing on like the one person at hand. Shit, people expect a katakuri to do that at the at the, <laughs> at the wedding. <laughs> well, <laughs> remember, yeah, remember, I mean, and he wasn't even able to do it that right. well. Me- remember honest. theory? Remember theory was saying katakuri is the most unimpressive. Uh, uh, he's the biggest <laughs> failure. Dude. Don't remind me. Of <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I was so mad at theory. And then Taekwon adopted his whole philosophy. I was like, oh my god, you yeah, guys. Well, Taekwon is like, oh, I can, I can latch onto this, dude. <laughs> He's like, oh, I got a, I got somebody with me, boys. <laughs> it's over Raga, for you. Raga, remind us again, no Taekwon said that um, category is trash. Man, listen, man. That story is always man. funny, bro. That stream is fucking legendary. <laughs> Yo, tell me which one it is. I gotta download it. It's bro. legendary. It, it was, I think it was like after Sanji dodged a bullet and then I was like yo I don't want to hear anything about Katakuri's trash and then it was like it just went bad from there man it was just legendary just legendary so, stuff here's the next thing I want to talk about because like yeah. I honestly don't really care about this gazelle man thing I don't want to hear I don't want to see comments <laughs> yeah. Twitch fuck you man <laughs> I was commenting and my dick retracted into my body typing this or something <laughs> you know, but like like I've seen people talking about this and I don't really know how to feel about it because like, I'm still like forming my opinion so this is just me observing things yeah so after this chapter and like we've been talking about this I think for three weeks in a row now mm-hmm. it's about things moving ridiculously fast how do you guys feel about that after this chapter um, I, I like the pace. I mean, yeah. it, it, I don't know, like specifically what you're trying to get at, but like, I I like the pace that it's going at well, right now. Like, I think what, from what I've seen other people talk about is that like, uh, there isn't any time to get down to sit and care about people that we're meeting. Mm. Well, uh, like, I mean, it, it's, it's I understand that completely. Boom, we got it. Boom, we got it. Boom, we got it. Move on, kind of thing. Like, I can understand that kind of idea, but I don't really know what no. to feel. I, I, saw- I get that completely, but like, there's like two problems with that. One, like. 
like take Dressrosa for example. We got to sit down and meet like a lot of different characters that like no one fucking cared about. Like Leo, Rebecca, mm-hmm. like a lot of like a lot of these like side characters are like most of the time like I don't want to say trash, but it's kind of just like oh okay. I whatever. think I think we didn't like, care about them at the time. I think we've come to care about them now because we know this the, the significance. I, I don't know. I feel like Vivi is like the only one that like really. Like, I like Hakuba. Yeah. Hakuba. I and mean, I, that's and, a little bit yeah, different. And I like Sai as well. I think Sai is dope. Oh, well, I, okay, that, I'm not talking about like those people. I'm talking about like like oh, people oh. that like were like directly involved with the plot. Like okay, like with Luffy and stuff like that. Like you know, like the princess that he saves. You know, like those types of people. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the, people complain about that in uh, Whole Cake as well when it, when Flampe got introduced. It's like, well, we didn't need Flampe to, for all this stuff. Um, uh, where they felt like Oda was just showing off by introducing all these siblings and all this stuff. People didn't care about a lot of the siblings. Uh, if you ask the casual fan that was reading One Piece or reading Whole Cake, how many siblings can they really name? Yeah. My uh, take on it is more of a thing to where it's like, I feel like we've gotten enough of that type of story to where we like delve into like these, like, uh, I guess, non-fighting plot characters. Yeah. But like, I don't think we need to do that that much anymore. But I think Plus, I- on top of that, I don't think that uh, like the girl, like the girl that got left behind, not the samurai girl. I- I'm sorry. I don't remember. Suru, Osuru. Yeah, Suru. yeah, Osuru. Like, I don't think she's gonna be that important of a character. Obviously, the samurai girl is probably gonna be, but I think we're gonna like get more character like uh, development. Um, like, I, I, Suru I, I, actually might be kind of important. I think she's a snitch. Well, actually, what 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 we found in the previous chapter, I mean, the previous page, is like uh, Batman says a theft occurred. I don't know what it says in the vis, but in Jaime says a theft occurred at the farm a few weeks ago. Yeah, and Suru was the person who said they just moved down here a month ago. Yep. That's a good point. So they're the one of them is the one that's stealing things from uh, the farm and bringing it back to the village so people can eat. I would think it's Okiku. I would think it is too. Yeah. But like they both got here recently kind of thing. Like like Sue seems to be playing the idea that she doesn't really know Kiku that well. It's like I heard she could use a sword. I think she's a snitch. I think she's a lookout for them. But that's just You think so? Yeah. Hmm. Despite all of the uh, Kozuki like uh, signs yeah. around her. I think Kiku was legit. Uh, Kazuki, like maybe a previous daimyo or something. But I think Suda was a snitch. That's, I can see that. I can see that. I think that's the feeling I'm getting from Suda. Um, I can see that. Uh, what has happened? So, yeah, the abduction of Otama, it was just, you know, one of those things that had to happen. Uh, so, yeah. Okiku, she says she's a samurai. So, this one is a samurai. She ties up her hair. And Osuru does mention she said she can use a sword, but I've never seen it myself. Zoro was shocked that she just took a katana. Um, they saw Luffy's arm, and Osuru, she seemed super shocked, overly shocked by it. Um, then we get to the end where we see our favorite uh, supernova, Law. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Conversation is going to go crazy. What do you mean your favorite supernova? The favorite supernova is always Luffy. <laughs> but I think... Um, supernova is... <laughs> rude, to be honest. Dude, like, in yours, and Farrah uploaded one, people are like, you, you don't have Zoro less than two? Yeah, yeah, people are You're mad. You're fucking stupid, dude. People are mad that I had kid that high. People were, like, legitimately upset. Just like, kid, what do you mean, kid? Kid should be no lo- no higher than seven at this point. I'm like, you sure that was a kid? <laughs> Kale. Cole has yo. The thing is, in. Cole he does he thinks Sanji could be kid, right? Yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> so it's like a lot of his how he thinks about things. A lot of his supporters, they feel they kind of adopt it. So they come yeah. back with the kid and Drake hate. It was like, oh, they're trash. He can't use his arms, and kid got beat by Kaido. And it's like, come on, man, are we thinking about these things? Like, are we really thinking about them? So, um. I don't know why people hate on Drake that much, too. Like, I think Drake is going to be a beast. But uh, we see Law, and Law says he's, we have to stop those idiots. Uh, and we see Luffy and Zoro. They have a signature panel again. Uh, we also see Hold'em. We get mention of yep. Hold'em and Speed, and the, the card theme continues here. Um, but first, we, first, okay, so we get to Bakara. That's the name of the town. That's a town mm-hmm. of officials and pirates. Um, we see Hold'em. It seems like they were specifically going for Otama. Yes. Uh, what do you think the reason is for them to get Otama? They, um, Gazelle Man mentions that she's the one who tamed the baboon. 
So not sure if they're trying to use that ability for themselves. Uh, remember that Kaido, or you remember that scene with uh, with Momonosuke when yeah. he was uh, in the smile things, and then I don't know if it was Kaido speaking to him or what the fuck was going on there. Do you think um, that ties into why they would want Otama? Yeah, well, I mean, my headcanon at this point in time is that Kaido's like literally obsessed with animals, essentially. So it's like if he wants a Zoan army full of men, mm. you would want a, like a, an army of beasts as well to go along with your Makes beast sense. theme. So you want a so beast you, of it. Yeah, yeah, if you have Tama, then you get that. You got a beast so. tamer. Makes sense. To yeah. backtrack a little bit, I was doing, I, I just wanted to do some a little bit of research on the earlier chapters oh, just to see, like, uh, like reread something. And like, um, what you were saying about Osuru being like a snitch might actually be true because, like, how else would she know, or how else would they know that she has that power? You know what I mean? Like, they mm. it seemed like it was planned out from the beginning, right? Because like that's what Zoro said. I that's think I think said, it was yeah. Zoro said that. Yeah. yeah. So like it seemed like it was planned out. Like they wanted her, and even like the the cat dude that they showed at the end of the chapter, he was like, okay, her power should be useful. The thing is, how would anyone even know what her power is in the first place unless? You know that one girl said something about it information is she sending information for food uh it's possible mm -hmm. and i also think just looking back at this it, it's possible that the thief could be uh otama as well oh otama stealing food yeah it's by possible. using her beast shit. yeah mm -hmm. well just because like um when mm -hmm. we first see her she talk about she's talking about like how she got captured by the guards or whatever mm. But the thing is, wouldn't the guards report that, hey, we found this kid and she could possibly be... But I guess... Would uh, it, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Although, whenever Tom, it was said that whenever Tom first like, got cash out of those guys, it was basically because she was saying some bad shit about the government. It's like, yeah. oh, no, the Kozuki's were here. Yeah, she turned around she was saying some shit that she probably can't say at this point. Like, I expect Wano. Wano seems like it's fucking, like... It's just so strict. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just certain shit, like certain people. Like, I expect when we see... When we finally see one another calamity, it's gonna be like, yeah, you can't look at him. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you can't breathe around him. You know, some shit, something crazy like that. Because I think what Oda is kind of going for, I think the 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 calamities are gonna have a different air about them than the the, the commanders for Big Mom, right? Where I expect strict, uh, strictly intimidation, and just uh, I expect I expect them to look badass. Honestly, like I, I expect at least one to be wacky looking. You think so? Absolutely. If oh, yeah, I, even though you were kind of trashing on the theory, I really do like the idea of like one of them being an Okan. <laughs> I wasn't trashing. <laughs> I just think the two. People, I don't. I mean, I think it'd be cool. I, don't, I mean, it's it's fine if it happens. It's like whatever. Maybe like a back, and then we see a flashback of Sanji saying, "But Sanji. using Gazelle Man as proof is trash." <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a flashback, right? Because, no, you know, if oh my god, if Sanji fights Queen using Okama Kempo, I'm gonna fucking cry. No, but then we're gonna see a flashback with uh Ivanko's like Sanji, there's one Okama that's possibly stronger than me. <laughs> <laughs> He's way gayer than I am. We're a lot I'm gayer than I am. <laughs> Yo, if Sanji fights an Okama with Okama Kempo, that would literally be like. Oh so my funny. god. He just starts saying like bon clays. Like, don't deny we, yo. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, if he copies uh, a poo, check, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so fucking random. But then people, even if he beats Queen, people would still shit on him and be like, yo, he used Okama <laughs> Kempo. He's yo, that, Okama. Would, that would be. The most beastly L of all time. To be it would honest. be. It would be a beastly L. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you think we go from here? Do you think um, Zoro and Luffy actually defeat these these guys? Or I, I, think, I don't. I, think, see they, how they I don't. think they get stopped from doing something. Yeah, I think it would be. A, yeah. It would be great if they got stumped in some way, right? Yes, like, I agree. Uh, maybe Law stops them because Law is like, wait, 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 we can't do this yet, or they just can't overcome the power, or you know how Luffy and uh, well, Luffy. Mostly when he when when he encounters someone for the first time, he gets caught by whatever trap it is. Doesn't matter. Absolutely. The first time yeah. he gets caught. So I think Zoro may be trying to protect Luffy in some way or shit. Let me let me be careful with that. Not protect <laughs> Luffy insinuating. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? But in a way where Luffy and Luffy Luffy's actions kind of lures both of them into a trap. 
Uh, that would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, my I think hopes moving forward is that Hold'em, the lion dude, He's hold is him. actually cool and not just like a big meme like all of the big mom ministers are. Yeah. And that Kiku, for the love of God, is a decent swordsman enough that I could be like, yeah, cool. Yeah. You know, you're not trash like Toshigi or something, you know? Yeah. Chances that Holdman, Hold'em is lion, man. 100%. It would be pretty cool. I don't know. Like, can, can you even do full, full body like with the gifter? It seems It seems like... Have we seen that before? No. I don't think so. No. It seems like it transforms a part of your body so you can use specific, uh, I guess, oh, it traits. Seems like you get the attributes. Yeah, yeah get attributes it. from like the, uh, the animals, but you cannot transform fully. I guess that's why Kaido was so interested in Momo's because Momo's, yes. he could transform fully. Uh, so that's a special one that may be like because it know, seems like with a smile Ultra, though, because he was mentioning the same thing as like uh as hawkins Wait, say that again it's like uh, there are three headliners that reside here hawkins yeah. hold him in speed yeah and then hawkins is like pretty legit so maybe like they i think for smile fruits like with any creations you're gonna have defective creations right and yeah. for for fruits you have to have test subjects <laughs> and i think a lot of the gifts gifters and pleasures or i think maybe gifters that they are test subjects and I, I think for holden maybe he has a smile devil fruit but i think he has a perfected one uh mm. that'd be cool i think another thing that we haven't really fleshed out it hasn't been really explained is can you use a smile devil fruit with a regular devil fruit yeah, on the no. combination yeah I feel, isn't that um, what people think is what like what's up with Kaido because of his yeah. tattoos and his skill? Yes, yeah. his arm, left arm. People are saying he has multiple smile fruits. Yeah, uh, I've, I've seen yeah. that as well. Uh, but, I mean, I think it's possible Kaido has a smile fruit, but I don't like the idea that uh, you can mix the two. Like, no, no, I don't like the idea that the reason his name is like Hundred Beast Kaido is because he has a hundred different smile fruits. I would think <laughs> I would I would think he's Hundred Beast because not not because he has a hundred different maybe he has a hundred different smile fruits, but he has. He can basically use a hundred different animals, like attributes and attributes, right? Where he can call on the strength of a lion. He can call on if he can call on the speed of a cheetah. That's fucking crazy. But if, <laughs> if it, uh, he can fly, it's like I, I mean, that's the thing that makes sense. That's an interesting theory. I've never. I don't even think I've ever heard that before. Where, I, I like. That. But the thing is, if he can do that, how the fuck do you beat him? <laughs> Well, Honestly, he's, oh, I, mean, I, think he I think he's the strongest Yonko, so don't well, it'll, it'll be just like how other people defeat. They forget how to use their abilities, yeah. and they only use one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. He has multiple abilities. He can be strong and fast. He just uses Cheetah, and then Luffy's using Snake Man, dodging him and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. I remember like when Wano got. I think it was like a a huge announcement that Wano is gonna be. Wano is going to make Marineford look like, or not not Wano, but it's going to be a war. It's going to make yeah. uh, Marineford look like trash. And Wano is going to be amazing. It's like some fucking announcement. And then I think everybody and their mom made a video saying, oh, my God, Wano is going to be hype. It's going to be crazy. And then I made a video saying, yo, I'm not going to get hype. I'm not going to be over the top with it because we've been disappointed before. At this point, I would do the exact opposite because the editors are just full of shit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I don't think there's anything that they can say that I'm going to be like, oh, shit, that's, whew. they said that, now I'm ready. Like, I, and I take, I take everything they say with a grain of salt, but at the same time, I do take it with a little bit of seriousness. I don't take, bro, it's like, I, I would rather if, like, I don't hear anything from the editors ever again. Absolutely. Oh, I agree, 100%. The thing is, like, Sometimes the editors really are right, like, so, like, when we see, or maybe it wasn't the editors, but I remember at one point, like, the announcement was, like, oh, Reverie's ending next chapter, and I was like, oh, it's just stupid Shonen Jump, oh, random clickbait, fucking editors being dumb, but, like, then it Fox actually did end. Island. Yeah, and then, and then it actually did end next chapter, so it's, like, yeah. I don't know. That was, like, the first time in, like, four months that they were right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the That's one time saying. I was hoping they were wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah. And they were right at that. I was like, come on, man. I, I don't want to hear from the editors, honestly. I'm, I'm ready to just go through the story without any announcements. I don't want to hear like, oh, a new character is going to be showing up. No. Oh, a character is coming back that we've seen. No, don't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> because because then we start throwing speculations out there. Like, remember the it's whole like a low key spoiler, man. Remember the Sanji thing? 
I was like, oh, Sanji's going to get oh. something. Oh, yeah. And we're assuming, we're assuming oh, Sanji's about to fight somebody. And we get Soku Geki no Sanji. Dude, you should have seen like the just like the response. <laughs> like we're like, what the fuck? But the thing is, sometimes I'm like, man, it's like it's it's a it's a totally different culture here. Where One Piece is religion over there. Religion. In Japan at this point. Like One Piece is the biggest thing ever. And lollies. Yes. One, one. What um lollies? <laughs> which, yeah. which, which, which 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 when uh, the author of Roni Kenshin gets caught with child porn, I'm like, oh, oh he's going to get caught next to it. But I'm like, I'm like, why is that so surprising? But anyway, uh, with One Piece, I think sometimes like the translations and how things get translated, it, it's, it's like it's received differently and we have different expectations of them. We're maybe over there. They're like, we like we want more information. Give us more One Piece. Tell us more. What about this? You know, that's why Oda, of course, has the SBSs and shit like that, and he has those fucking troll ass answers where he doesn't really answer stuff, unless it's about like smoothie and her devil food. Which is one yeah, but I, the one thing that I really am just fucking tired of is the the story is X percent done because like that shit doesn't make any fucking sense. Don't it's say like, anything. Yeah, Don't it's say just, anything. Not even like even if it's true, it's like the numbers are like if you like look at the numbers that they give correlated to like what's happened, like the numbers are just all over the fucking place. Bro, like I. I I don't think Oda knows, bro. Like, is I don't think I, th- I think Oda's in the middle of the story, and with his characters, he's pulling and he's writing the story. He's adding things where it's like he's like. So I think the editors do ask him, "Yo, Oda, like my nigga, like how how much longer do you think we got?" And he's like, "I don't know, eighty percent," and they run yeah. with that shit. They're like, "Oda, oh, it's eighty percent done," and then Oda goes back. He's like, "Oh shit, Pell, we got to time back into the story." And he writes a whole <laughs> like. I gotta bring Pell in this, bro. <laughs> he has to have a mission or a reason for Pell, bro. There's something there. There's some divine. Yeah, my whole thing is like. I, I, I think it's assume... popularity. That's why. It <laughs> Even if we assume that like, um, he makes it fast paced enough to where like he's not like making a fast pace just for the sake of it being trash. Like, there's still so many plot points that like I feel need to be addressed that like you can't yeah. do it in like 20 percent left of the. No, you All can't. Right. Uh, like you gotta stop uh, leaving us with like fucking cliffhanger after cliffhanger of like, like the macro story. If you want to like end it up or wrap it up in twenty percent of this, I think Oda at this point he shouldn't rush it because we're already nine hundred chapters in, bro. Yeah, we're already here. So for us to get to the best part of the story, right? Some of our best moments, the like where we're getting towards the end of the story, where we're getting towards the climax. And you rush that, Don't and pull you bleach. Sp- you skip over plot points. I don't know, dude. dude. How many good? Mm. How many shows have any good? A few. They're not this long, though. Can you like? Can you like name them though? FMA B. All right, like that's one. Code Geass. Those are pretty short, I guess. Yeah. I feel like Naruto's ending wasn't that trash. Yes, it was. Oh, Shut man. up. Yeah, oh, he was man. garbage, bro. <laughs> the, the thing is, the that fourth, like started the trend of like trash. The the, 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 the was it, the fourth great ninja war. It it was too long, and then hey, listen. But the thing is, is like you gotta you gotta think about it this way. Like uh, Naruto ending was not trash, but it's no. like it like turned out to be trash. Like like okay, it, it, I I had liked everything about the Naruto ending until all of a sudden like fucking like Kaguya and Kaguya and like yeah. all that random and shit. And it was like, like fucking, apparently Zetsu gets, was the fucking. <laughs> Naruto knocked out and like fucking yeah. like he wakes up with Sage of the Six. Like that shit was like that part was trash. That was like I some think he ass was killed. killing. I think he was killed, right? Him and Sasuke got stabbed or some shit. I don't know, but then no, they were dead. They got pulled. Then they they, they but yo when Naruto Jesus showed up, that's when I was <laughs> like. Naru, Naru Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. when he showed up and just like guy was fucking dead, he's like, oh no, remember, he, remember he? I'll touched, make Sakura completely useless from now on. Let me talk. He touched guy was like, you're healed. He touched Kakashi's yeah. eye, you're healed. Like he so was. You know, just, what <laughs> me off? you know what pissed me off the most that arc what? was it all of a sudden Sakura seems to be on the level of Sasuke and Naruto. But they had that one. Of... I think that was it. Was that yeah, one? Was it was so that one chapter. Stupid. It was that one chapter. Was like I was never far yeah, behind. At I would all. never far be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sakura, come on, come on, and then next chapter she proceeds to fall into the background again. I was like, come yeah, on. exactly. It was just a, it was her like, shining moment. 
I don't know. I, I love Naruto. Naruto is always going to be a show that. Yeah, it's an amazing. I love season. it. I love Naruto. But it got to a point where it's like, yo. I mean, the final episode of Naruto, I think, was fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the final episode. Where it's like Naruto versus Sasuke, that final fight. I yeah. think that's some of the best chore- choreography I've ever seen in anime. Yeah. Um, but that wasn't in the manga, though, right? Like, most of that was in the No, manga. that was just anime. Or yeah. because when Sasuke used Naruto to, to fucking create a um That was fucking amazing. That was bro. That, yo, that was bro. that was <laughs> that was the island of the art the, the fight for me, yo. I was like when he's he's, he's hitting Naruto but farming the signs at the same time and he's oh, yeah. spitting the fireball yes. like ridiculous. Bro, bro. You know, amazing. this is a slightly unrelated note, but I just wanted to point this out. Like I wish they would do a redo of like the One Piece anime. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, it's so fucking old and yeah, trash. You can't that go back like, and watch it. I, yeah, like, okay, because, like, I, I was trying to get my one of my friends into One Piece, right? So, like, getting someone that's, like, a casual fan to watch, like, like yes. telling someone, like, okay, you just got to wait 100 episodes and then it gets good, like, really, really good. It's like, okay. Like, yeah, uh, I think around Logtown, the anim- animation and art looks better. Yeah, so what I did is I showed him episodes of East Blue. Yeah. And like you know, like that's done really well. Like the fights are great. It's, like everything's yeah. animated so great. And then like he's like, okay, this is pretty good. And then it's like, okay, now like it's like the episode of East Blue is pretty much the first fifty-one chapters. So it's like now go okay. to uh, the knock-up stream, not the knock-up stream. Yeah, the uh, the, uh, the whale reverse mountain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now everything is in like one twenty-eight p. And yeah. like Luffy looks like, <laughs> it's like who the fuck fucking... is this Crocker's guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm like speaking of uh, unspeakable oh, that, that part of One Piece. It seems like many. YouTubers are reacting to One Piece now. Like a lot of YouTubers. Are doing what? I doing One Piece reaction. Oh, because One Piece is popular. So it's like... I mean, like they're... starting like yeah. starting the entire series. Yeah, I saw... Uh, what's this girl's name? Some girl, some chick. Where <laughs> she started doing One Piece reactions and like her channel... Like she had a good amount of subscribers before, but her channel just started booming because the reactions to the chat, to the anime. And it's just like... I think... Um, there's a name... Um, maybe I'm um, super machi if freezer or something like that. Something like, yeah. I think something like that. Something like that. that. Super machi. Yeah, so machi. I think, <laughs> I think, think, she, think she used to cover Dragon Ball Z. I think it's Mecca, but I don't know. Yeah, it's it's way. <laughs> what if her long name is, bro? <laughs> I don't even care, bro. Definitely machi. Definitely machi. Yeah, yeah. super shout machi freezer. Shout, shout out to, out to super, machi, you know, Drake's owner. Yeah, shout out to super machi freezer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, people are starting to people realize that One Piece is super popular. You do a reaction, people are gonna watch it because people love One Piece. People love seeing people's reactions to One Piece. Um, the thing is, people aren't accounting for is how Shueisha has kind of changed recently, and they're a lot yeah. more petty, and they're <laughs> being they're faggots, dude. Yes. Yeah, what happened to Grim, bro? Grim whole his whole channel got fucking. <laughs> He got like he got kumud, bro. <laughs> <He> got, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Nick Shueisha came to his channel like, where would you like to go? <laughs> and got this shit the fuck up out of here. But that was a disguise. That was a bit in disguise though, because um, Grim actually tweeted them on the subscribers. Yeah, I didn't know you had seven hundred. Remember, he's he, 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 he hide the subs. So, he hides his subs. <laughs> First of all, kind of I gotta say this: I, anybody who hides their subs, you trash, bro. Yeah, he's exactly. a bitch. Yeah, don't hide your subs. Like I don't get why people do that. Like I don't understand it. And I don't know if Grim was trying to hide from Shueisha. Be like, yo, I'm a little, I'm a little channel. You don't gotta come after me. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I got, I gotta head out. I, I gotta. Oh. Go. Now nah, we're pretty much done. Right. One day we'll get mad in here. One day. We'll get yeah, one day. Bro, we gotta stop doing these at fucking twelve o'clock. Bro, bro. Like, you know, you know who we gotta blame. Say- we gotta say fuck Lando. This <laughs> no, but, no, but that's the only time I'm home, bro. Like on yeah, Monday, fine. Like, like, Monday. like what, what am I waiting here? I got you are like for the first time ever get Matt in one of these streams. It's like I don't know. But the thing is, yeah, Matt. The, the here's the thing with Matt, right? Matt was just in the chat. <laughs> He's fucking retarded. Dude. Matt, I swear to God, Matt doubled down. Like, oh, I'm gonna be there. Oh, I'm one hour behind y'all. So <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> he even went. This, go ahead. Just take a snap of this dritz. I'm going to be there again. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, like this. Oh, my God. This nigga making track challenges. He should make a challenge like, yo, I'll challenge everybody to show up when they say they're going to show up. How about Matt do that? How about Matt do that? <laughs> I, I go, Monday's a perfect time to do it because I'm, I'm free on Monday. No, I mean, the thing 